Hey, howdy, hey y'all, Leanna here, and in today's edition of It Was Once on the Porch, I have, I have a bunch of stuff that was on my porch back in June, and I'm just now getting around to it because I have been challenged by Miss V from Simply You Makeup. She has challenged me to do an orange and dark green eyeshadow look. This goes along with the Queen's Challenge that Lorraine Johnson Coleman does on IG. Lorraine always posts challenges on her Instagram page to challenge us to get outside of our comfort zones and play with color and this challenge is all about finding your inner child, embracing your inner child, and playing with your box of crayons. So we were to challenge someone to do a look, something outside of their comfort zone that they normally would not do, and to be prepared in turn to be challenged ourselves. And I have been challenged twice. And this is the challenge that was given to me by V. And so the minute I read orange and dark green, I thought about these palettes that I had gotten from Melt Cosmetics and that I had not used them yet or it. And it is the Amour e Mariposas palette. It's a beautiful palette. I love the embossing and the artwork on this palette. It is beautiful. It has a nice mirror on the inside of it that has the butterflies around it as well. And then look at these beautiful shades. Although on the computer, some of those shades look a little red. And then of course we have these beautiful greens. So I'm going to give this a shot and see what kind of orange and green look I can come up with to post on IG and I thought I would bring y'all along with me to do this challenge because I keep telling you to pull your makeup out and play with it. They were having a sale besides just the Amori Mariposas palette. The Gemini 2 palette was on sale and I have the Gemini 1 and I love it so I picked up this Gemini 2 palette. Look how pretty that is. And I also picked up this palette for my daughter because if you remember, she was here in June for her birthday and she is a Gemini and she loved roses. So this was just right up her alley and I couldn't get her one without picking one up for myself. Also, the, so let's dig into this palette and see what I can come up with. I am going to start out with this very light orange and use that as my transition shade. And I'm not going anywhere, so if this turns out to be a hot mess, that is okay. <laughs> Melt Cosmetics formula is really nice. They blend out really, really nice. Can y'all hear the bugs, the night bugs? The nighttime sounds. I love that sound. I challenged a few people as well. I challenged V at Simply You Makeup. Several of us have done a video of our challenges. For those that have posted their videos, I will put the links down in the description box. I challenged V to use purple and neon green. I challenged Andy Does Stuff. Andy has posted her video as well to use green and yellow. She did a beautiful look. V did a beautiful look as well. V did a very unique cut crease when she did hers. It was very pretty. And I challenged uh, Renee at Beauty and More with Renee to do a teal and, yes, it was teal and pink. And oh my gosh, she did a beautiful look too. That is the great thing about Lorraine's challenges. 
because you do things that you wouldn't normally do. That's really pretty. And when you do things that you don't normally do, it helps to build up your confidence. It strengthens that confidence muscle. So let me see if I can deepen this orange up a little bit. So all I did was get this little fluffy Natasha Denona brush. You see how I got it on there? A little bit more pigmented. I'm just packing it on. See, under normal circumstances, I would probably not pick this shade, but it looks pretty, actually. I kind of like it. It is really making my green eyes pop, isn't it? And now, I am going to take my Luxie 231, and I'm going to go into this green here. Ooh. I didn't know if that would be dark enough, but I think it is. Yes, it most definitely is dark enough, deep enough. I should have used my palette. I got some fallout going on. That's really pretty. I like Melt Cosmetics there formulas do seem to be just a little dry to me. Uh, I'm not positive, but they just, you know, some, which is odd for a powder to feel creamy, but some powders will feel really creamy, and these feel just a little dry. And again, I'm just packing that on to intensify that color and get it deep since V said that she wanted me to do a deep green. And since some of that has fallen under my eye, I'll just sweep it on up under my eye. I'm going to take that little brush that I packed that orange on with that I've cleaned it off and just blend out that edge so that I can use this I think it will do better packing on that green. Seems to be one spot there that just does not want to take that color. And so I'm doing the other eye with this little Natasha Denona brush and I'm not getting hardly any fallout. So that just goes to show that sometimes it depends on the tools you use. This brush is holding that shadow much better. And it's not feeling as dry as it did with that other brush, which is my favorite brush, as any of you that have been with me for a while know. I'm really liking this little Natasha Denona brush. I like how short the handle is. I don't like the brushes that have really long handles. But that worked really well. I like it. Okay, now, now for the piece de la restance, we're going to go into this orange, and we're going to put that somewhere. Where are we going to put that? Where's my brush? Here we go. I'm going to try it without spraying. I'm going to use this Angie Hot and Flashy A505, which works really good for shimmers and glitters and stuff. Let's, ooh, mama. I'm telling you. Look at that. That is, that is orange. There it is. I have done quite a few of these challenges. And I don't normally record them. I'm gonna need some spray. Or should I try my finger? I'm going to make a mess with my finger. I don't normally record them. But I wanted to record this one because I wanted to show y'all that I really do play with my makeup. I don't just tell y'all to play with your makeup and I don't do it myself. Because I know y'all have heard me say it. At the end of the day, it washes off. Hmm. 
Orange and green. Let's try it with the finger. Let's give it the finger and see what happens. That's not too bad. All right, y'all, I brought in backup because I wanted that orange to be a little bit more shimmery. So I got the Glam Light Cake Palette. And I'm going to go into Carrot. This color right here. On my pinky. Brighten that up a little bit. So now I need some lashes and some liner, and then we'll come back. I still feels like it's patchy right there. Do y'all see that? Lashes and liner. <laughs> I'm distracted. And then we will come back and see about this lip. So I put my lashes, my half lashes, and I put this uh, ColourPop X Raw Beauty Christy Marigold, which is kind of an orangey color in my waterline. And when I was looking at it after the lashes went on, I just felt like that green needed a little something something. So I went into my, this is my Makeup Geek. <laughs> singles and I went into this dark green right here and put that in my outer corner which kind of brought it to life. I think that looks a whole lot better. I like that. That looks pretty. Orange and green. Who knew? See what happens when you play with your makeup. I really wanted to try this purple and I know everybody's going to go do the purple, do the purple. V is going to go, you should have done the purple. I was hoping you would do the purple. But I'm really curious to try one of these nudes. Just to see what they're like. Look at how little. That is just super cute. Look at this little bitty baby lipstick. Alrighty, let's see what we got. Mmm. They smell good. This is not a shade that I would gravitate towards, but it looks okay. Should we try a blush? I mean, look at this orange. That's really pretty. So there we go. There's my orange and green look that V challenged me to do for the Queen's Challenge for Lorraine Johnson Coleman. I will be posting some pictures on Instagram to complete my challenge and then I can move on to the next one which was red and black. There we go. Melt Cosmetics. Very pretty palette. I can't wait to try these purples. Look at those purples. This is still available oh, for $28 on the Melt website. Wow, that's beautiful. If you're interested, the link will be down below. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and watching me create with my crayons. These are my crayons, and I am creating art. I am painting my face and creating the masterpiece, the piece de la resistance. And that's what y'all need to do, too. Thank you for hanging out with me. Pull your makeup out and play with it. Find something to be grateful for. I'm saying this all out of order. <laughs> makeup is meant to enhance the natural beauty that you already are. And we are all beautiful at any age and any size. And then all the rest of that, which I said first. <laughs> I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye-bye.
Christopher, do you have any crayons? You need to pull your crayons out and... Remember when you were little and you would pull your crayons out and and color He-Man? Oh, you need to do a He-Man look with your crayons and some makeup and some lure colors because I don't know what that's got to do anything with fishing or maybe you can do some green Hulk Hogan type makeup. Okay? Mama loves you, boo.